my name is Chloe, welcome to my channel. Today I am showing you my insanely fun, well I think so, uh, weekend reading plans and a little vlog for you. And this is going to be my Jen Bennett weekend. So I'm going to talk you through what I'm doing, um, but just to quickly sum it up because I've already filmed that clip. I have these three Jen Bennett books where I have demanded I have the American hardback. So Brittany sent me, Brittany from The Never Ending Reader, who will obviously be tagged in the description, um, sent me Starry Eyes about a year ago. Um, Serious Moonlight, she bought me while we were, I was in America and we sat and read the same book. And then Alex approximately, my boyfriend Cole, bought me and he brought over from America for me. So I have to have these matching copies. Um, <laughs> I, I just have to, they need to match. So, um, Starry Eyes, I have already read and gave five stars um, back in May of 2019. Serious Moonlight, I read with Brittany um, in October 2019 and gave four stars. And Alex, approximately, I have never read. So, this is going to be my weekend. Um, Jen Bennett is seriously one of my favourite authors. I'm pretty sure she's in, she's in the top three. She has to be. So, I'm very excited. I also tweeted about this and she tweeted me and I'm like, mm, feel famous. Um, this is my weekend. And seeing as we're all self-isolating, <laughs> drop the book. Um, seeing as we're all self-isolating and quarantined and all that, may as well get some quality reading done. So right now it is Friday the 27th, maybe, I think so. Um, I've just finished work for the day, so it's Friday evening, my weekend has started, and I'm going to crack on with some reading. Oh, but first, I'm going to insert a clip to show you what I'm doing, annotation, tabbing, wise, and what's in the books already, so enjoy that. Okay, so this is probably going to be the best camera angle we're going to get. You're going to have to excuse my very poorly painted nails. Um, these are the, the My Jam Bennett books. We've got Serious Moonlight, Starry Eyes. And Alex Approximately. So, um, as I may have already said, I haven't read Alex Approximately before. I'll just hit my tripod. I have read Starry Eyes. I read it back in 2019. I read it in May 2019. And then I read Serious Moonlight in October 2019. So this is the one we want to look at. Um, so this was actually Brittany's copy, um, which she has given me and I gave her my copy. So, not to be confusing. Um, on the inside, this little poster, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna reorganise where I've put these because this is something I do in all of my books where I write down the date I started and finished it. Um, and then I've got a little tab just to tell me these were Britney's notes. I don't, I'm gonna remember. I don't know why that's there. And then this is the key that Britney put into the book to explain the tabs, which was exactly the same system as I used. And I do have these exact tabs um, in my tin. So I'll be using the exact same colours on my other books. So we have uh, plot, romance, quotes, random and emotional. I think we got to the end of the book and hadn't assigned purple. So we just went with random. There was another code we used where we'd write ETN, which meant XL through nose. So it wasn't quite funny, um, but it was enough that you do the, <clears throat> you know, it's hard to explain an Excel through nose with a voiceover. So, um, yeah, this copy has got Britney's annotations. There's already some stuff on the first page. Um, some tabs in. We've got a lot of... I'm pretty sure there's some highlighting. I'm not going to be able to find it now. So, unfortunately, I don't have the same highlighters. So, they won't. it won't be identical annotations. Um, but it'll be a good, a good go. I can't find any highlighting now. There's got to be something. Here we go. Highlighting. There we go. So it is highlighted too. So my plan, I'm going to first of all read Serious Moon. It's not even Serious Moonlight. First of all, I'm going to read Alex approximately. Then I'm going to um, reread which one? Starry Eyes and add my own annotations. And then I'm going to reread Serious Moonlight and read Britney's annotations. So those are my weekend plans and I will check in with you when I have done something. So already I decided to highlight a little heart here um, because green is quote. So I thought if I highlight it, it's like sort of a quote, but I just like what it says. And look at this. So these are good highlighters. Why? 
Luckily, it's not bled through onto here, so that's just going to annoy me enough. But it looks like I'm not highlighting my copy. Um, never mind. Okay, so a quick little update. I've been reading Alex approximately. Um, it is quarter to eight, and I'm already on chapter 10, which is 125 pages in. So I've been doing a lot of annotating, like physically writing in the book, but then I've only got three tabs, two of which are plot points and one is a quote. So I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm just not tabbing it. But then I keep looking back at Brittany's copy of series Moonlight and there's really not that many tabs. So maybe this will pick up tabbing wise, but there are a lot of annotations. I've written a lot of my thoughts down. So I guess we will see what. Oh, so I'm talking very quietly. Um, it's only just gone 11, but I know that the rest of my family are asleep, um, even though it's Friday night. So I actually took a bit of a dis... Um, words gone from my head. I, I stopped reading Jen Bennett and I actually finished off Call It What You Want by Bridget Kemmerer, which is a buddy read I'm doing with Emily from Novel Novels. I don't know if I've said that already. So we had like two days left of this buddy read and um, I just finished it. So I've apologised to her, but this was one of the easiest five stars I've given in a while. Really love this book. Love Bridget Kemmerer. Can't wait to read more of her books in the owls. Um, I will link my TBR for that. I'm reading Hearts of Fierce and Broken and More Than We Can Tell next month. So Bridget Kemmer is one of my, one of the other three favourite authors. So I'm not sure what stage I was at the last time I updated with Alex approximately. I am exactly 150 pages in. Um, but I think I'm going to call it a night now because then I can get up early and read because right now I'm not really feeling the motivation to read much more. I just want to go to bed. So I'm going to go to bed, get up early and carry on reading. Hello, it is now 11 o'clock on Saturday morning and I'm round about page 270 of Alex approximately. So I don't have that much left really and I've still not got many tabs but there's a lot of writing in it. Um, I don't have much to update you on apart from the fact that I absolutely love this book and it will definitely be finished before lunchtime. <laughs> So it is now um, just gone 20 past 12 on Saturday and I finished Alex approximately so I've read this whole book. Um, in the end I quite liked how much tabbing I've done, I've done a lot of annotations. Um, if tabbing my books is a video that people want to see I'm more than happy to do that in the future. But for now I finished Alex approximately, I'm gonna make some lunch and then my next plan, oh there's me in the mirror, is to read starry eyes and tap it up so obviously as i said this will be a reread um i'm not expecting it to take me too long even though it is longer than alex approximately and i'm really excited to read this it was one of my favorite books of last year so i can't wait oh so it's a little bit later on it's actually nearly four o'clock i've had a bit of a break but i'm on page 50 of serious moonlight um so yeah i'm gonna sit and keep reading now hopefully catch up with Brittany in a bit to see what she's been reading but yeah carrying on. So it is nearly eight o'clock and I am pretty much dead on halfway through this, just a little under halfway, um, which is still serious moonlight. So what I'm going to do is go for a shower and then like wind down for the evening, even though all I've been doing is reading anyway, so I'm not winding down at all. But I think I'm going to stay up quite late tonight. So I'd like to be clean, fresh pyjamas and carry on doing what I'm doing. Hello. It is nearly 11 o'clock on Saturday and again I'm having to be quiet because everyone else is asleep. Um, but I just got to page 314 of this so I only have a little bit left. I'm absolutely shattered and I'm going to go to sleep. So it is 10am on Sunday and I just finished Serious Moonlight and I absolutely loved it. I think I could appreciate the story a bit more than the first time. I'm pretty sure I gave it four stars last time and I'm going to give it 4.5 stars this time. I did enjoy it a little bit more and um, it was lovely reading Brittany's annotations and adding my own and I didn't add any tabs, I just left Brittany's tabs in there. Um, there was some stuff that made me cringe the first time which I sort of skipped over this time so I think that might have improved my rating but either way absolutely loved it, it's just not got that special five star from me but it is still very very good. So I'm going to get dressed, um, even though I really don't need to because what am I going to be doing today? But get dressed and then today's plans are to read Starry Eyes. Hello, so it is half twelve 
and I started reading Starry Eyes but I'm only on page 20 so this is going to take some doing today. I'm just not really motivated right now um, but I'm sure I will be. I'm also going to film my book haul like right now because I may as well. Um, yeah, pretty chill day. Obviously it has to be a chill day. We can't do anything else. So again, quiet voice. It is half 11 on Sunday night and I'm just over 300 pages into Starry Eyes. So I've got that little bit left and I might stay up and read it. Either way, it's probably too late for me to film an update. So I will check in with you in the morning to let you know how the Jen Bennett weekend has finished off. So it is Monday lunchtime, it's just gone one o'clock, I've got 50 pages of Starry Eyes left. There's a lot of tabs going, just that teeny tiny little chunk. So I'm going to read this now and finish off on my readathon. <laughs> okay, so that is it. It is half one. I've just finished Starry Eyes. This is solidly still one of my favourite books of all time. It is amazing. So even though I didn't finish all of my Jen Bennett's in the Saturday Sunday, I've done it Friday evening to Monday lunchtime so I've done it Friday evening to Monday lunchtime so I think that counts I'm going to enjoy the rest of my lunch break now and get this video edited tonight so that I can upload it at some point this week um, but if you've stuck out this vlog then thank you very much for watching I really do hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one